This is a short presentation <clears throat> on how to use the Atlas drill down capability that is available to you automatically <clears throat> with no setup required. What we have here is a worksheet that was built using a structured function. So if I put my cursor inside the body of the table and I click the Atlas task pane refresh button we can see that a structured summary query was built into this worksheet using the customer invoice journal table. The filters that were set up were based on the date and the customer account that are built into the sheet on row 5. And the outputs were set to consist of customer account invoice name and the sales subtotal amount. So if we position our cursor on any of the numbers that we see in column F, I'll start here at the total. <clears throat> click the drill down button <clears throat> what we're able to do is call up what is known as the drill down viewer if you'll notice the amount on the underlying sheet 1,519,000 doesn't tie out that's because there is a page limit of 20 rows per page so we're looking at $94,000 worth of information on this page if I open up this page limit and click apply I can go to the very last page and you'll notice that 1,519,000 uh, is the number that's contained on the parent sheet so um, all of the records are now contained within the window I can scroll up and down to look at the various rows of information okay <clears throat> there is a lot of functionality here within the drill down viewer for starters, I can uh, put the cursor on a column heading, left click it, and pull the column to one side or the other, let go, reposition that column. I can click on an individual column and sort it up or down. I can uh, click on a small Greek symbol to the right of one of the column headings. When I do that, I have the ability to select average, count, maximum, minimum, sum, uh, one of those or all of those. Click the check mark, and that information is immediately shown at the bottom of that column. I can do that on any numeric column, so I could do that here also. I am able to modify this view. This view consists of an automatic query that Atlas builds for you. If I click the modify button, I can see that that query was built based on filters that are related to the parent sheet and report columns that default in for that table. If I want to customize this particular drill down view, I can add, I can remove, just as you've seen in other sessions add or remove fields. When I'm happy with the way I want this to look, I can click update. And my drill down view has now been modified for this instance only, for this session only. So if I leave this session and come back in, the default drill down will reappear. However, it is possible to create what we call an alternate drill down, so our custom drill down will always occur. Um, that's the subject of another discussion. There is, let me see, I'm going to close that pane. There is the ability, let me close this and return back to where I was before. If I click drill down again, my original drill down comes back, my original view with all the columns. I am able to click a small gray bar up above the column heading, left click any column heading, hold it down, drag up, let go, and I can group by that heading. While grouped by that heading, I can sort up or down alphabetically. I can expand and contract individual nodes for, in this case, individual sales orders. I can left click another field, pull it up, and I can do subsorting. So sorting of invoices within sales orders. I can unsort by pulling these column headings 
back down into the drill down viewer and I'm returned to my original view. I can close the group by uh, bar by clicking uh, on the thin gray bar. Let me see. It's possible to do a number of other things here. If I like a particular view, if I either customize this view or simply take it as it is, I can click the Excel button at the top, New Workbook. And when I do that, I instantly have exported that view to a new worksheet. So I can save my drill down view, take a snapshot of it, and put it in either another Excel file or a Word file. Or it is possible to uh, copy to the clipboard and then paste it using Control V like you would uh, in any other Office document. So if I close this particular new file, go back to where I was, drill down. And there's the copy capability that uh, copies the uh, snapshot to the um, uh, copies it to the clipboard. Yes. Um, okay. A couple of additional comments. Um, wanted to give you a, a general overview of the drill down, but as I mentioned, it's possible to create a custom drill down for a particular document. So every time you open that document, you will get your custom drill down. It's also possible to drill down through a drill down, and we call that drill through. So I could, for example, take the voucher and configure it as a drill through. And when I did, another tab would show up with the voucher number on it. So when I clicked an individual voucher, I could then drill into the detail for that voucher. And in addition to that, it is possible through the context information tab, which is the fourth tab you see down here on the right side, to create what we call drill outs. So in addition to the drill down up here and the ability to drill down through a drill down, it's also possible to build five additional drill downs, which we call drill outs. So all told, there is a tremendous amount of variability with respect to the drilling functionality within one document. So that completes a quick review of drill capabilities within Atlas.